Hey Libra and welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be a general energy check-in for you. We're going to see what is going on with you at this time. What is it that you need to know about? Okay. Now let's see if you're holy angels. This can be past, present, or future. Okay. You'll know best where this fits in your story. Take it how it resonates for you guys. Okay. And um yeah, let's see. What's going on with Libra here, Holy Angels? Now, if you're interested in a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. Okay, I do have those open again for those of you that are interested. Let's see, Libra, what's going on with you? What is going on with Libra today? Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So we have the first card out is the Ace of Cups. Um, this has to do with a love offer, a new beginning in love. Okay. Something has been exposed here. The moon in reverse. About a group of people or something to do with a celebration or some sort of a group. Okay. Friendship group. What is this Ace of Cups here? What is the Ace of Cups here for Libra? Okay, so we have the Chariot. The Five of Wands and the Page of Cups. Someone is moving forward in their life, okay? There could be people around you, though, that are trying to create some sort of conflict for this. Um, there's some sort of arguments here, some sort of fighting, maybe about some sort of an offer that was made to someone. Page of Cups with the Ace of Cups. Okay, what's the Moon Reverse? Four of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Six of Pentacles. Something has been exposed about someone trying to give someone money, okay? Um, some sort of giving and receiving here with Lovers. So something has been exposed here with the Moon in Reverse. Maybe that someone was trying to give someone money to try and make it look like someone has a lover, okay? Something like that. What's the Three of Cups? This has something to do with something that happened in a house. These people are not able to stab you in the back and betray you, even though they try so much and the sun in reverse, okay? Someone here could be depressed. Someone here is in their ego, okay? Has something to do with a house or something in a home or your stability, maybe. And the fact that they're not able to stab you in the back, although they try all the time, okay? The devil never sleeps, apparently. Uh, yeah. Okay, what's this Ace of Cups? The Nine of Swords. Someone here is nervous. Someone here is worried. They're in some sort of fear and some sort of paranoia when it comes to a, an offer that was made. What is the offer that they're so scared about now? The Hierophant in Reverse. This has something to do with corruption. Um, it has something to do with maybe spiritual corruption. Could even have something to do with a divorce. Okay. What is this here? The Knight of Swords. Someone came in with some sort of communication maybe or took some sort of action here. What is this Ace of Cups? I like you in paradise. Romance is blooming, wants to date, happiness, expansion, joy. Okay, so this has something to do with someone flirting, someone wanting to date, some sort of happiness, playfulness between two people, and a love offer. Okay, why is somebody so stressed out about this now? Nine of Swords. Because of a chaser. 
Okay, so we have a chaser here. This is someone that has a fear of abandonment. This is someone that can't let someone go. Okay, this person is stressed out. They're worried. Um, they're in some sort of fear here, fear of abandonment possibly, okay? They don't want to get left behind because someone here ha is having a new beginning in love, okay? You might be in a relationship with someone. You are happy with this person, okay? Romance is blooming between you and this person and someone around you is um, chasing after you, unable to let you go apparently, okay? So what's the Hierophant in reverse here? High honor in reverse, okay? So someone is nervous and stressed out because they've done something possibly illegal, okay? They've done something illegal here, something corrupt. What's the Knight of Swords? Having to do with some sort of communication about a gift or taking some sort of action with a gift. What is this gift, huh? The truth is now coming out about this, whatever it is. So there's clarity and truth here, revelation here about some sort of a gift. Okay. Some sort of a gift. And now whoever has done something illegal and corrupt with a gift um, is now stressed out and worried and in fear and in some sort of paranoia. Okay. About whatever they've done that is illegal. So... Let's see here. What's the chariot? Oh, I'm holding them backwards. Oh, well. Okay. Well, I guess it was meant to come out that way then. So we have the page of wands in reverse and the nine of wands. The fact that someone here is moving on in their life, moving forward very determinedly, okay, charging forward here towards their goals, this is bad news for someone else, that you're so perseverant with the Nine of Wands, um, that you're still chugging along, okay? Uh, you're strong, you're the wounded warrior, you're not going anywhere, okay? What's this bad news? Page of Wands reverse. They're getting bad news about an ending here bad news about a coffin about an ending what's the chariot heartbroken man someone here is heartbroken deeply hurt sad grieving feeling lost in fear in paranoia chasing after someone that is on their way out with the chariot moving forward in their life okay what's bad news page of wands reverse Bad news is that someone is progressing. I can't even make it up. Progressing, arriving, moving on. Receiving what they need and moving on in their life. Now, what's coffin though? Something completely over. The Grim Reaper. I cannot even look at this. The Grim Reaper. A relationship is over and there's no second chances. Or it has something to do with a literal death with the Grim Reaper coming out like that. Now, why is this bad news? What's the Nine of Wands? A coffin. Oh, so maybe it is an actual death. We have the Grim Reaper. We have coffin here twice. That looks like a literal death. That looks like a literal passing to me. Okay, now I don't know why this is such bad news here. Because somebody here was being strategic. This was their hand of cards. They thought that they were being strategic when they were doing whatever this is, okay? They thought that they were taking a risk. They thought nobody was gonna see them here. They didn't wanna stop doing something with the Nine of Wands. They, didn't, they just didn't wanna stop. They didn't wanna give up. They wanted to keep going here, but now they're getting bad news. What's the bad news regarding some sort of a death? It has to do with a King of Swords. So a King of Swords could be getting some sort of bad news because of a relationship, lovers, and the Hierophant, or is this a Gemini? Who is this King of Swords with the lovers and the Hierophant? What is this? What's the lovers and the Hierophant? It's a so this is a main male, okay? What's the Hierophant? A message. 
a main male is getting a message about someone in some sort of an institution, maybe a higher institution, some sort of a, and some sort of a idea that they had to imprison someone or get someone stuck and trapped. So this was an idea. They had an idea to get someone stuck and trapped. This might be a Gemini with the lovers or it has something to do with claiming that someone has a lover. And this was a something that they're doing here with the authorities, but whatever this is, it's illegal and it's corrupt, okay? And now they're getting a message and whatever this message is, it's bad news apparently. What's the lovers? Breakup separation, silent treatment abandonment. So there's a king of swords here who claimed that there's some sort of a breakup or there was a breakup, but in reality, there's no breakup. In reality, romance is blooming and people are happy here and there's actually a new beginning in love, right? Someone is moving on in their life. Okay, and now someone is heartbroken here. Okay, so what's this fight about? Five of Wands. About a, a risk that someone is taking, a new beginning maybe that someone is having, the Hermit. The Seven of Wands. Who's the Hermit? What's the Hermit? A main female in reverse. So this is somebody that was doing something that was hidden. This could be a copycat. This could be a catfish. This could be somebody that was cloaking their identity, pretending to be someone that they're not. What's the seven of wands? Occupation. Trying to block someone's occupation, trying to block someone's work maybe. Trying to block someone's career. What's the five of wands? Journey in reverse. They were trying to stop someone's movement forward. They were trying to stop someone's pathway someone's journey. What's the five of wands? Yeah, because they're all fighting about the fact that someone has met the one, someone is getting together with the one, someone is welcoming love in their life. That's what it's all about, okay? So that's why, that's why they're also stressed out and paranoid right now is because you have love in your life, Okay, you have true, real love in your life with the Ace of Cups. You've met the one. And everybody is now trying to fight with you and trying to compete with you and create some sort of drama, trying to stop your movement forward because of the one. Okay, you've met the one. So what's the seven of wands here? Someone trying to stop, trying to stop someone's career, get in the way of someone's job. Yeah, by creating a, by creating a fight. By creating a drama. A queen of wands is competing with someone here, okay? So maybe it's this queen of wands that's paranoid because she's a chaser in a codependent relationship or she is codependent and she's a stalker chasing after someone here who's now in fear and paranoid because she did something illegal, okay? Trying to compete with someone here and trying to block someone with some sort of an occupation, okay? Who's the hermit? Who's this um, catfish? Who's this person with a hidden identity? Something with messages. So maybe it's this main, so maybe it's Queen of Wands is this main female in reverse, right? This person was cloaking their identity here, pretending to be someone that they're not, right? A catfish who thought that she, just because she puts on a beard uh, and a hat, nobody's gonna recognize that it's her, right? And she could have been doing something illegal here with a job, pretending to be someone that they're not, right? And all it is about is that someone is moving on for swords in their life towards love and this person's just trying to get in the way, right? Some sort of messages about some sort of passionate action, okay? Passionate action with someone with the four of swords while someone is resting, while someone is sleeping. This could have something to do with like a one night stand, okay? Let's see what this is. coffee cup exactly meeting and conversing so this um this catfish here this person pretending to be someone that they're not okay um this codependent stalker queen of wands here 
who thinks that nobody knows that it's her pretending to be someone she's not, has sent some sort of messages back and forth as a catfish having to do with wanting to meet someone and meet up with someone and converse with someone, right? Girl talk, time with friends. Yeah, some sort of girl talk here. Living in the moment, having fun. And she was having a fuck ton of fun doing it too. So while she's, you know, hiding her identity behind a, a fake profile in someone else's picture, she's having a lot of fun. She's having a lot of fun. She's sitting there laughing. Uh, she's drinking her wine, whatever. Having a great time pretending to be someone else, right? Writing some weird messages about some sort of passion and action back and forth. Okay? And it's all because she's a codependent stalker who can't let someone go. Okay? Yeah. So what's this page of cups here? A king of wands. Made some sort of an, the nine of pentacles. Yeah, she got an offer from a king of wands to run a business here. Okay. Yeah, this is, they, they were running a business. So this is the handler and his little sex trafficking um, employee here, the queen of wands. And they were running a sex trafficking business online. And the king of wands made the queen of wands' offer to be a little sex trafficker on, on the internet. And she was having a lot of fun doing it too. She was having a lot of fun doing this. Yeah, creating an illusion here, seven of cups, pretending to be someone that she's not. She's a catfish. She's a sex trafficking catfish. That's what she is, okay? What's a page of cups? Yeah, look, yeah. And now they're getting bad news. You wanna know why? Because the person that's behind this profile, they were pretending to be someone that they're not, okay? They were pretending to be this person. In reality, here, this is this is who was behind it, okay? And they were sending messages back and forth, but these messages are not real. These messages are not real. That's why Page of Wands and the message in reverse keeps coming out in reverse. These messages are not real. It's the Queen of Wands sitting there laughing like a little witch that she is to herself, sending messages to random people on the internet, pretending to be someone that she's not and creating an illusion about someone's career, okay? When in reality, these are sex trafficking handlers that are doing this to someone. So what's the moon reverse? Now they're exposed. Now they're exposed here for this financial strategy that they had. And they've been doing this for a long time, 10 of pentacles, and they are now exposed that they have been um, tying this sex trafficking illegal business, okay, to some sort of 10 of pentacles money. This was a strategy, okay? They've been doing this with some sort of fraud money, with some sort of a fraudulent bank account, with some sort of identity fraud, okay? This was a strategy here, but you know what? Now they're exposed for this, the moon in reverse. Knight of Cups, because of some sort of offer that was made to someone, okay? Or some sort of love messages here that the Queen of Wands was uh, texting to other people pretending to be someone here, okay? Tell me more about them being exposed now. They're being exposed because there's a divorce or there's, a, there's no marriage. There's no marriage, there's a divorce. This is being exposed. What's the uh, Knight of Cups? Unexpected income. Yeah, this queen of pent, uh, this queen of wands here, the sex trafficking um, handler here, was sending messages to random people on the internet and then getting money for it, right, off of someone else's pictures. She's a little catfish, and then they were doing all this with some sort of ten of pentacles money here, okay? And her ringleader, master, is the king of wands. Okay, this is the person that. Uh, gave her this command or gave her this offer or told her to do this, okay? And now they want to hold on to the money. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, because you are not at some sort of a house. Or it wasn't your house. It's not your IP address. It's not your house that was doing all this shit, right? Because it wasn't you. It was the sex trafficking queen of wands pretending to be someone as a catfish, fake profile, okay? So you're not, you weren't at the house, 
It's not your house. It's not your IP address. It's not your geolocation. You are not at this house, okay? What's the lovers? The three of wands, yeah, but they've been planning something here with a lover. We're trying to get you set up for having a lover, yeah, and that's the truth. That's why they've been trying this entire time for months to years to whatever, weeks, to get you set up with a lover and have you not only sex trafficked on the internet, but also in real life, apparently, okay, by these nasty ass prostituting handlers, okay, um, who belong under the jail, if you ask me. So, yeah, they've been planning this the whole time. Six of Wands, and that's how they thought that they would have victory and success by getting you set up um, to be sex trafficked against your will. What's the Six of Pentacles? Justice. Five of Cups, and they're sad now, and they're crying now. Oh, they're gonna be crying, just wait. They're gonna be crying, okay, when all this gets exposed about them, where that money actually went to, okay, and why someone got paid, and it's because they're a sex trafficker, that's why, okay? Why are they so sad now, huh? Eight of Swords, because they're going to jail. Like I said, they're, they're going to jail or under the jail, okay? One or the other, that's where they belong, though. Temperance, and that's, that is divine order, honestly, for people like this here because of a breakup. Yeah, because she's a, like I said, she's a codependent stalker who couldn't handle the fact that she got left behind, okay, and someone didn't want to be with her anymore. So she decided to go the extreme route of then um, putting someone's pictures on the internet. Yeah. Yeah, that's what kind of a person this Queen of Wands is. Yeah, and she got paid to do it too. Mm -hmm. She got paid to do it too by this King of Wands. It was a master plan here to do this to someone, yeah? And now they're all sad and crying because it's gonna be linked back to her. That IP address, that geolocation, all the evidence is gonna point straight to her house. So maybe that's why she, if, if somebody has moved recently, okay? If they just got up and left and moved away, okay? Uh, changed residence, yeah? Moved away all of a sudden out of nowhere. It might be because of the IP address of that home. Maybe they want to conceal their IP address. Maybe they don't want something to be traced back to that house, right? Hmm. Miss Queen of Wands, you little sex trafficking catfish, you. Okay, and it's all because of a, a breakup, right? Some people just cannot handle breakups. So what's the Eight of Swords? Seduction in reverse, yeah, now they're trapped. Now they are stuck. They're about to be trapped because you you, Libra, you are not the one that is hooking up with people. You are not the one that is dating. You're not the one that is uh, flirting online on the internet. You're not the one seducing people and having some more weird sexual relationships on the internet. No, that's the little sex trafficking catfish queen of wands that's been doing that, okay? Why is she so sad now? Why are they so sad? Five of Cups. Why are they so sad, huh? Poor thing. Oh, because they're a self-absorbed narcissist. So the self-absorbed narcissist is crying about herself. Oh, she's having, she's having a little pity party here, okay? Because she couldn't mirror you. She couldn't mirror you. She tried though, okay? So she took some of your profile pictures and then she took some of your pictures, hacked out of your computer, laptop, or phone, and then she posted them online, right? And she thought she was gonna mirror you. And she was just about mirroring everything except for the location. Oops, okay, yeah, poor thing, right? Poor thing, you, oh, watching, looking, stalking. I can't even make it up. Yeah, this is a stalker. This is a very obsessed stalker here, okay? Who doesn't have themselves under control. And now she's unsure of her future because she was pretending to be someone that she's not and she was masking herself and she was pretending to be you. And now she got caught up. Okay. Yeah. So what's this three of cups here? This group. This group that was working together on this financial strategy. Yeah, it was a whole group of people that collaborated on this plan. They all worked together on this here and took these actions. They all decided to move forward on this. They thought it was a great idea to do something here with the King of Cups. 
Okay, who's the King of Cups? Is this the other profile that they were pretending to be? Okay, who knows? What's the sun in reverse? The Ace of Cups. And now they're all in their ego and they're all depressed because of a, a love offer here, okay? With the King of Pentacles, okay? So this could be your person, right? This could be the person that you're actually in a relationship with. And you could be in this in a relationship with this person for years now, okay? It could be a new relationship, it could be a new person, or it could be someone that you've just been in a very long relationship with, okay? Now, and you're happy with this person, and romance is blooming between you and this person. So this might be the ex of the Queen of Wands who couldn't handle rejection, right? And it made her depressed. It made her very depressed that you were having a, a new beginning with this King of Pentacles here, right? Let's see. What's the sun in reverse? Hammer in reverse. Yeah, depressed in her ego because she wanted to sabotage it so bad. And she wanted to sabotage it to the point where you wouldn't even be able to rebuild your relationship with this King of Pentacles, okay? But... It's not working, working on it in reverse. She's sad and upset that it didn't work, okay? Her nefarious plan. She couldn't stab someone in the back here. She couldn't betray someone here, although she tried. She gave it her all. Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, she wanted to, yeah, some, or this is about her. Someone doesn't want a new phase with her, okay? Someone didn't want to go back to the Queen of Wands. Someone didn't want to prepare for union with the Queen of Wands, okay? Or what they were trying to do was cause a betrayal that is so horrendous and horrific that there's no coming back from it, right? Like a complete ending, that there's absolutely no coming back from it, there's no fixing this, okay? Because this person, like I said, is absolutely codependent, obsessed and possessive. So she's obsessed with you, possessive over this masculine and thought that she had the right to do something so illegal to control the situation because she's not able to deal with her own emotions. So tell me more about the Ten of Swords reverse, please. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, she thought that she was going to be able to lie about someone's career and job to the point where you would never get out of this betrayal, right? You would never. Yeah, because she's obsessed with you. This person is absolutely obsessed with you, okay? She could be obsessed with your beauty. She could be obsessed with your body. She could be obsessed with your relationship, with who you are. She is jealous of you and it's made her go crazy, dark side psycho, okay? Yeah. Strength, yeah, and your strength. She doesn't like how strong you are. She doesn't like how resilient you are, how you're, it, this might have something to do with your aura as well, your presence, okay? Your confidence. She doesn't like your confidence. She doesn't like your self-worth. She doesn't like the strength of your character. She doesn't like you, basically, okay? She hates you. Yeah, three of swords. Yeah, she wants to hurt you. Two of cups. And she was butthurt and sad and heartbroken about the fact that her ex, King of Pentacles, wants to be in a relationship with you. Why you? She felt intimidated, okay? I guess she thought that she had to compete with you. So the way that she did it was by doing something abhorrently evil, okay? Yeah, because she's obsessed and jealous and crazy. So the star could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Or she sees you as the star three of pentacles in reverse, but something didn't work out now because now the truth is being exposed about her and her true character, who she truly is on the inside, no matter what she tried to tell everybody else, right? Or how she tried to make herself look. So yeah, and you won't work together with them, right? So they're trying to trap you. They're trying to lure you in a trap. They're trying to catfish you. They're trying to get you to some weird locations. When that doesn't work, they're trying to attack your business. They're sending you weird emails. They're trying to infiltrate your energy, trying to get in your energy, trying to set you up to make it look like you have a lover. And it's all because this queen of wands is in fact the sex trafficking catfish online. And she's trying to make it look like it's you. 
No, thank you, Queen of Wands. You can keep that shit. It's you, okay? Stand to it. What's the Four of Wands? Three of Wands. So now they're planning something here in the future. Yeah, they're still working on this Wheel of Fortune. So now they're still, they're still planning on something. They're waiting for their ships to come in here. They're working really hard, putting in a lot of time and effort into some sort of a plan here in the future at a home to try and block you, to try and stop you, Queen of Swords. They're gonna try and stop you, Queen of Swords. Watch out, Queen of Swords. They're gonna try and stop you again here because you are the motherfucking Empress and they can't handle it, Nine of Swords because they're in anxiety, because they're in fear, because they're paranoid, because they've been doing things that are illegal, okay? They're scared of you. They need you out of the way. So what are they planning here? Oh, they're planning on doing something right now. They're doing something right now. They're planning something right now here. High Priestess, yeah. Something with a home. Something with a home. because they're bullies that refuse to grow up. Yes, okay, they're planning something right now. What are they planning right now? Something with the money because they're sad about the money. But what, Spirit, what are they planning? I mean, don't give us a cliffhanger like that. It's like, yes, they're planning something. What are they planning? They're planning it because of the money, okay? <laughs> what are they planning though? Something with a, ha with a home. They're lying about something here, they're lying. They're taking a risk. The hermit, a catfish, a king of cups. That's the same one that's right there. They're planning something right now with a king of cups to make it look like you're cheating on someone. What is it, what is it that they're planning right now with this king of cups? Privileged lady, something with money. They don't want something to change. Sudden wealth. They're planning something with money. Family room in reverse. To try and break up this family here or this relationship. They have an expectation that this is gonna work. So I don't know what they're planning right now. Something with the King of Cups, that's for sure. And I'm pretty sure it has something to do with a catfish. They're catfishing someone. They're gonna do something with a catfish. They're gonna do something with a catfish, okay? And it has something to do with a home or, or a union maybe, okay? With the four of wands, could even be a union. What is, what is going on here with this home? What is this four of wands? It, it's, it's something illegal in court. Because they're in despair. Or because they're in despair that something's not going to go their way in court with a child. So they're doing something as a false person. What are they doing though? What are they doing here with this King of Cups as a catfish? Someone that's cloaking their identity. What are they doing here? Whatever it is, it's to try, it's to try and stop you and block you. High priestess they're trying to lie and get away with something they're lying eight of wands sending someone maybe trying to pay for something to try and get you stuck in the future they're taking action right now on this having to do with this money something with this money they're doing something fraudulent with the ten of pentacles money Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're taking action right now and it has something to do with someone cloaking their identity. Yes, that's the truth. Okay, well, what exactly it is, we're not going to find out right now, apparently. So, who's involved in this here for Libra? A Leo. An August Leo, okay. Somebody's accomplice could be a baby daddy.
a Taurus and a Gemini. There's a Taurus and a Gemini that might be planning something right now with the money. Sagittarius and Aries. A Scorpio. A Capricorn. And this, is a, this could be a secret society here that's planning something right now with this money. Husband, July, and wife. Husband and wife. And something with July. Husband and wife. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. I hope this helps. Um, we'll see if next time a little bit more comes out in the reading. Okay. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.